So here's a little video that um, just talks about Bootstrap, and I'll do one on Angular JS as well. So this is not a advanced; this is a first steps. Somebody asked me the other day, "What is Bootstrap and what is Angular?" So um, I said, "I'll create something." And this is, you know, if you've worked with Bootstrap or Angular, this is not the video for you. This is really just what is this stuff, and and uh, and where does it fit into the world? So. Um, First of all, um, Bootstrap um, was created by a, a name called, or developed by a, a guy uh, um, called Mark Otto and Jacob Thornton, um, and they are part of, uh, they were part of Twitter, probably are still. But um, so they, it's it's a Twitter framework, and and uh, uh, um, uh, Twitter developed it for a for a reason. It it's a it's a front-end framework in in the sense of if you think about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but it really focuses on the HTML and the CSS part, meaning style sheets to make something look great. You know, it's not a it's not a web server, it's not a back-end replacement, it's not a programming language. Um, it's more a uh, a front-end framework to make your um, Make your front ends look great. So um, how does it, how does it look? Um, you, you know, um, and and how does it actually work? So I'll go into the little demo I created here. And first of all, um, you know, here's the here's the Bootstrap. And um, maybe if we look at a original file, this is what uh, we used to create. You know, we create a document type and uh, and HTML. This is standard HTML with a H1 and a and an input field, and they would roughly translate into um, something like um, Bootstrap demo. That would tra r roughly translate into something like that. You know, that's uh, how we used to create HTML. The problem is, um, you know. Um, the, the modern world came around and devices. So, if we start looking, you know, on on maybe on a, and sorry, this is a little bit small, but but you get the idea. If you if you look at this on a generic notebook, yeah, that's what it looks like. But the moment you start uh, moving to a um, let's say a iPhone 4, that's uh, sort of what it looks like on there. But uh, here's the problem. Uh, um, as soon as the the the, the, the size of a device starts changing, see what happens. You can see that the stuff starts disappearing off the screen. You know, um, it goes this way off and it goes that way off. So, you know, if you have bigger HTML, stuff starts disappearing off the screen. It doesn't work well. You know, and, and um, so, so that's the problem traditional HTML has. It doesn't work great on smaller devices. You know, uh, um, maybe a you know a Nexus 7 would look like that, um, but a LG Optimus would look like that. But you can see the issue. Okay, so along came uh, Bootstrap. So, um, wh what is in uh, a Bootstrap then, and 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 what does it contain? So, Twitter Bootstrap then uh, contains a few things. It contains, if you install it, it contains a bunch of CSSs. You'll see there's a minified version of, of each. So there's two minified versions there. So it's not all these files, but there's the CSS part. There's the fonts. Um, and these are glimpse icons, and I'll, I'll show them to you shortly. And then there's just this uh, one little JavaScript and its minified version. So it's really just a CSS or two CSSs, a couple of fonts, and a JavaScript file. So um, if you include that in, 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 in Bootstrap, you know, nowadays we put something like this at the top. We say, "Hey, Internet Explorer, use the Edge." Uh, you know, Edge uh, uh, um, for um, for displaying. L use the latest rendering. Um, we add a viewport, meaning uh, um, for for devices. So we say, "Hey, scale it uh, at the level of one, one to one." Um, and then here comes Bootstrap, and we say, "Hey, include the Bootstrap." So that's changed. That's a new thing. Then um, you can add this little piece here. This is like the IE8 compatibility shiv, and and what that does is it includes two two little files, and it makes IE8. You'll see uh, if less than IE9. 
Um, uh, um, if so if for i8 it makes it a little bit more compatible with this kind of modern stuff so if somebody's still using i8 but if you don't expect your users to use i8 of course you don't need that then um, inside the HTML itself uh, you will see uh, um, we now add things like class equals row but then we yes class equals xs dash one and these are columns and we say this is a one column small extra small we add things like jumbotron so this is what we do with 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 bootstrap we start adding these class names and dividing things into columns and and adding class names so we so we really add extra things to our to our uh, uh, html you know classical form group and classical help block and you know th that kind of stuff um and then um, uh, uh, lastly, the two things we load is jQuery, because we must use jQuery with us if we want to use the JavaScript part. And then, of course, we're loading the, the uh, um, JavaScript, uh, uh, the, the Bootstrap JavaScript. And just doing that immediately changes the page to look a, a little bit more like, um, like this. So if we go to this guy, um, and voila so um, looking at it maybe on a, a, um, a generic notebook now see how nice the page looks well first of all you know that's just on a normal browser that's what it looks like you can see nice little things there and these are actually HTML type uh, you know rendering and, and, and making it look, look nice but um, you know look at the buttons and they move and they but the other part that's great is once we start scaling down and let's say go to iPhone phone 4 now and we refresh this page see how it fit so now it suddenly fits on the page there's no more and um, let me shrink the page and what do you know things still fit yeah there's something there that that's starting to I mean but this is ridiculously small but you can even see this text over here is is wrapping and um, you know as I get bigger it, it fills out and it fits better and um, you know so this is that exact same file yeah. Yeah. this is the same file we had previously only difference now is we added a, a, a bootstrap to it and that immediately changed it into that you can see the difference right and then just a little piece uh, um, of course there's, there's a lot of stuff you can do here I mean there's, there's really um, I suggest looking at this um, get bootstrap um, page and on there um, th th there's a lot of stuff about what bootstrap can do getting started you can look at all the uh, um, you know styles there's tools the you know it really has everything it explains everything very well here here's the JavaScript and here you can even build your own version of of your bootstrap on how you want it so it has this builder concept where you can say this is what you want your style to to uh, look like and then you can build it and it will build you a, a a file that you can use and that's your own style right so a little bit about the uh, glimpse icons if we look at things like this and that's um, if we look at uh, the actual application it's these things these are fonts over here so you can go and say you know what um, I want to add maybe to this um, uh, email address over here I'm gonna add and it's uh, called a span and then we're gonna say class equals it's a glimpse icon oops class equals it's a ah, let's give it space there. it's a glimpse icon and we're gonna say it is a glimpse icon login okay and we close it and we close the span and if we go look at the page now um, all of a sudden BAM look at that that over there there's suddenly a little icon there that makes it look great so um, if you uh, um, let's take that just a little step further let's copy this line over here and let's go put that in front of maybe the, uh, the word password but this time we're gonna say not glimpse icon login 
we're gonna say glimpse icon um, lock perhaps okay and if we go look at our page and bam look at the password and um, you know lastly let's look at like the submit button over there um, and um, let's go back to our code and let's say you can even add this stuff onto a submit button like this let's say uh, glimpse icon um, let's say um, uh, log out uh, for for uh, for for that and um, a refresh and bam there is a uh, it's added to the button so um, immediately you can make your page look nice it can make it look professional it's immediately scalable like that and that's really what bootstrap does I mean and the uh, previously well, um, this is the page we had um, uh, let's take the view off this is the page we had and um, just simply adding bootstrap those CSS's um, and adding the the glimpse icons and, and that kind of stuff changes that same page into this and now uh, and this page will now of course work on a modern browser so that's it that's basically what uh, a, a bootstrap is in, in, a, in a in a very short nutshell just uh, you know first steps in it and and do visit uh, the bootstrap site and um, there of course you'll get a lot of stuff uh, you can just download it and and you can see how nice sites are made uh, with this kind of stuff thank you